Hey, AP Seminar students wanted to make a quick video here about a topic that we're going to deal an awful lot with this year, which is lenses. Yes. Um, you have probably read in the course description or heard us talk about AP Seminar as a, a class that really transcends discipline. And mm -hmm. one of the things that brings that to life is the way that we explore the topics um, you'll explore topics in this class through different lenses. Lenses are just different fields of study. You can think of them like departments in a college. They're different ways to explore a topic. So I, I explore a topic through psychology because that's kind of the, the area that I'm in and you explore topics oftentimes through the structure of language because you're, you're in the ELA department. So these are um, the, I don't even know how many we have. What do we have? We have. Oh. So we have 12 here, okay, um, of the different lenses that you can oftentimes break things down into. So think about them as different departments. And what you might want to see is that over to this right-hand side, you tend to be in the sciences, and over to the left-hand side, you tend to be in the humanities. Um, so we kind of have our feet in different halves of these from psychology over to the humanities. And we're going to run through these different types of uh, perspectives. No, I, I, Ooh, oh. not perspectives. Lenses. Shame. We'll get to perspectives Shame. in a minute. Okay. Yes. We'll get to perspectives There's a difference. There There's a, a difference. difference. Okay. Um, so we're going to start over in this right hand column here, kind of some of your harder sciences. So, environmental, what's the impact on the natural world? Uh, environmental lens is going to look at uh, an issue and be concerned with its impact with climate change, recycling, different levels of pollution. Um, so you're going to be concerned about the natural world. Uh, the technological lens um, is concerned about how new te technologies impact an issue um, and how they might help um, and things like that. So the, the scientific lens, obviously both of those were both scientific, but with the scientific lens here, we're talking about research studies that aren't really applied science, but have more are more research studies that you're, you've seen someone do uh, like if it's on JSTOR or EBSCO host and they're they're looking at the impact of something. So they're 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 concerned with scientific method and research studies. So those are your hardest hitting of your sciences. Then you have your your uh, things that are a little bit less uh, uh, finite. So economic, the economic lens, um, and this is a lens that most of you will find yourself dealing with at some point in mm -hmm. time this year because it sort of impacts everything, right? Um, so when you're exploring a topic from an economic lens, you're really considering how it's gonna impact wealth, resources, production of goods, it's concerned with money. Psychological lens, my favorite. How does this impact people's mental health and their health care? So here we're really concerned with people's stress, their depression levels, uh, or, or positive psychology, like their happiness. We want to improve that. Medical um, is the physical aspect of people's health and health care. Um, concerns around physical health, private insurance, universal health care. Um, those are all things that a medical lens would be considering. Now we kind of really shift over into the humanities into uh, further away from science into more dealing with humans. And if we're going to deal with humans, the first one we're going to do is educational. So this lens here is concerned with the act of learning and all the people involved with that, like students, schools, parents, and teachers. How do we learn best and where do we learn best <laughs> and what methods do we use? We're figuring those out too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, historical lens explores how certain topics have come up in the past. Um, and it's concerned with how something developed, context, background, change over time. Makes for a good intro. Yes. For your lenses, yes. I wouldn't use it for other places, but it's good in your intro. I think it's tough to go history for a solution. Yeah, yeah, but, but that, um, yeah, yeah. You can see historical things that have been tried, but they yeah. kind of fit into other categories. So don't use it for a solution lens. Anyways, political speaking of using for a solution lens, ding, uh, ding, ding. This legal, is your legal. solution yeah. solution lens. How should governments and legal systems address this issue? Uh, so here we're looking at the issue. We're concerned with laws that are impacting it, policies that are impacting it. 
uh, and then what rights should people have? We see a lot of our students end up here at Solutions for this lens. One of the things you'll see uh, probably as we go through this class, you might not consider yourself a political person. Maybe you really shy away from co conversations about politics, but a lot of actual real change happens through the legislative process. Um, so it's yes. hard to totally like divorce yourself from a political and legal lens because in actual solutions, a lot of times that's where it happens. And then finally, our most uh, humanities of, of our thing is over here to the far left. Uh, so here we have artistic. So what creative expressions can we use to explore this or raise awareness? And here in the arts, we're concerned about beauty and the themes of our art and the message that it's making, the statement. Um, so I'm thinking of you know everything from works of art in a museum to street art that's trying to get attention for a movement. Ethics, what's the right thing to do um, in a particular situation or surrounding a particular issue? Concerns around justice, equality, equity, that's ethical. Um, the ethical lens is almost philosophical in nature. Yeah. You know, it, it's concerned with those ethics, but but not so much with some of like the pragmatic research type things that you see from some of the other lenses. It can help guide our decisions, but yeah. it might not be best to make it our solution right. lens, which we'll look into. So kind of a warning on ethical being used too, too much in this class. And finally, cultural social. How does this impact the beliefs, values, and customs held by a people? So here, this lens is going to look at the problem and be like, what's it doing to people's religion or their traditions or the habits they do on a daily basis? Or the, the you know, is it changing media or is media changing their society? Um, so you're going to see an awful lot of concerns with large groups of people in the cultural social lens. So we're going to teach you a few other terms that are really important as part of this conversation, but just one more clarifying example about lenses. Um, so again, these are different fields of study, but I want you to understand that really important topics can be explored from multiple lenses. When I say climate change, big topic, big topic you probably automatically think about a scientific lens, right? And we certainly, or an environmental lens. <laughs> and certainly um, there are those fields of study explore that. But there's also an economic aspect. Um, you know, what is the, the economic impact on enacting different policies, political, yeah. Yeah. around, around um, climate change? So most big topics while you may sort of quickly try to put them into a particular lens or view them through a particular lens um there are are ways to sort of consider them through these multiple fields of study so that's lenses we also want to talk about perspectives and stakeholders yeah we don't want to use those interchangeably like i did and it's easy to, it's to, easy to, to kind of fall into that and perspectives has a very distinct definition in ap seminar that they want us to use so let's go back to our definition of lenses like mrs galusha just said they're different fields of study you take a topic you explore it different ways if you explore a topic with just one lens you don't understand that topic now perspectives what are perspectives? Perspectives are different points of view expressed through an argument. So a single lens, easy example is political, may have many different perspectives, conservative versus liberal versus socialist versus libertarian, okay? Um, so I may, may be someone who gravitates toward a political lens, um, but I, that doesn't mean that I would exp have the same perspective on an issue as others who viewed it through a political lens. Wait, so not only do I have to understand a topic from different lenses, but within those lenses, I have to explore multiple perspectives. And if you want to be informed, you do. Because I can't just get a conservative perspective. Mm -hmm. I can't just get a liberal perspective. You can, but you won't be informed. I need, I need, yeah. I need all of them. Right. And that's why this class is, a, you know, in a sense, it's apolitical because it's having you explore things from multiple perspectives. Not something our society is used to doing right now, Mrs. Galusha. No, we're no. Bad at yes, we're really bad at it. You guys will be awesome at it. Yeah. 
So we might have a topic, uh, technology, and say we decide to pick at it from an economic lens. We could have picked other things. We could have picked how's that changing society. We, just for now, this uh, this money. political Show lens, me the money. this economic lens. Now, see how there's different perspectives. I might think that new technology will put workers out of jobs. But I, I might be a glass half full oh, kind okay. of person yeah. and think that new technologies will actually create more jobs. Two different perspectives. Yeah. And then in our current society, we would just yell at each other right. on cable news. But we're going to move beyond that in AP seminar. Now, this one uh, is an, it's the third one that's also important for us to understand, which are stakeholders. Stakeholders are different groups of people affected by an issue. Um, and you're going to be doing some work with this, taking the very important issue of COVID-19. Oh, timely. Timely. Too very timely. timely. Too soon. Too soon. Um, and so there are a lot of different stakeholders impacted by COVID-19. We are talking at you through a screen because education has been impacted by this. You as students, us as teachers, we are stakeholders who have been impacted. Certainly restaurant owners, right, have been impacted by this. Healthcare workers um, have been impacted by this. So those are, are all stakeholders. Um, you know, an issue if we were trying to, part of the reason um, that some of the policies that could help climate change can't, we can't just snap our fingers and get those passed, is because there are other stakeholders being affected there. Um, and it's hard to meet the needs of everyone, right? In, in AP Seminar, we are all about trying to understand an issue in the most fullest, in the fullest sense that we possibly can. So you need all three to understand an issue. You have to examine it from different lenses. You have to consider multiple perspectives within those lenses. So you're not biased and you're getting different points of view from different experts. And then you really do also need to look at people and consider how different stakeholders, how different groups of people will view this differently because it impacts them differently. And all of these three things are tied together and really necessary for a scholar to understand an issue so that we can do what with the issue? Solve it. Okay, I know we were going to go with a chant. That's fantastic, guys. Hope you uh, uh, found this a little uh, helpful for lenses, perspectives, and stakeholders. Three important words this year. Take care, AP Sam. Awkward moment of silence as I stop the video. We'll have lots of those. <laughs>